and there's so much happening going on. And see that smile on Sandy's face? You want to tell him why you're smiling? I saw Dolly, and she sang, and she even got into a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, stay tuned for more on that. Yeah, we're going to post those videos up soon. But we thought it'd be fun to give you a live walk around the park and go through the tunnel that's not there anymore yeah, on the way to the train so everyone can see what the whole yeah. open area looks like, what it looks like now with the new pizza place yeah. down by the train station, see if that's ready to go, because we also have special seating out there. So I can't wait and thought we'd bring you along on this guy with us <laughs> on this walk through Dollywood adventure that rocks. So let's go, and as you can see right now, we're at the grist mill, and Sandy's going to be going around and getting other shots when, right when I flip the camera around. So reason to follow us on Instagram if you haven't already, or check out some of the fun things that we post on our Facebook page. But we know what you want. You want that walk around Dollywood, so let's turn the camera around. All right, so just to give you an idea of the grist mill's here, and this would be the whole new area of where you walk through now. Because as you can see, the big tunnel is no longer there. But look at how much big this area is and just how expansive it is. And it's right next to the train track. And that's really what they wanted is for people to be able to come out here, hang out, grab some stuff from Miss Lillian's, maybe sit out here and just watch the train as it goes by. So think about it, if you could time it, that train takes off every hour. So maybe grab something that Miss Lillian's 20 minutes, 15 minutes before, come out here and find a place to sit and just watch that train go by. I think it's a great idea. And also, as Sandy pointed out, when you're standing in this area, you got some incredible views of Wild Eagle yeah. going over like the gristmill area and stuff. Yeah, I love that. Actually, turn around. Hold on, I gotta and go slow. I don't want people getting dizzy. Oh yeah, no dizzy. Because Sandy gets really dizzy when I do this. So it's hard to see, but... Yeah, and this might be the only time of year that you're gonna be able to see that shot because of this tree right in front of us. Right. But I don't know if you, I don't know if you can. But, but when these trees come in bloom this oh. spring... Think about Christmas. Oh well, yeah. This whole area, it's gonna look great. Can't wait to see what happens when all those trees hit full bloom out here. And you know what I'm really hoping that Dollywood might do? What's that? Murals. Can you just imagine murals painted here with all sorts of colors, butterflies, and seasonal? Oh my gosh, I would love that. That would be really cool. So right now, yeah, we are standing in like the center of the tunnel that once was. Yeah and we are walking down to the train area but yeah just to give everyone i'm going to turn around one more time just so everyone can see what the the area look like now that it's been removed and there's the thing that caused the mudslide i think that's what they said that helped do damage to the tunnel and unfortunately they yeah. decided you know what with this much damage caused from all this slide yeah, that mountain. That mountain In the off-season, yeah, that uh, they had to, unfortunately, get rid of the tunnel. But I really do like the wide open area now that they have. There's Lightning Rod. It's closed temporarily. We've heard it's had two rollbacks. And right now there is people waiting to hopefully get the rides on Lightning Rod today. Oh, get the oh, train? Oh, the train, of course. Oh, maybe we can get in their picture real quick. What do you think, guys? You don't know Rob. He loves the photo bomb. I can't help myself. I love getting in people's pictures. And I always give a big wave, too, you know, when I do it. I get that from, see, there was, once was a Saturday Night Live skit, probably in like around the 1984, 86 era. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who remembers they had a guy called the Wanderer. And he would do himself in all kinds of different photos and stuff. Anyone else remember that? 
Anyway, let's get back to the train. Let's focus on why we're here right now. So as you can see, they got Cinderella out for opening day. I guess Cinderella needs to let off some steam. <laughs> Hold on a second. Look it, look it, look it. That's all new. Look at all the seating out here. So, yeah, they have now, it was Victoria's Pizza. Now it's Iron Horse Pizza. And they have this whole new seating area. And that is kind of cool, like Sandra's pointing out. Now you get covered seating, and they do have outdoor tables also. But you get to sit down and enjoy the train. country fair and it right. looks like it's all blocked off now so you can't go the only way you can go is down by it looks like maybe the carousel but i'm loving this whole seating area that you can get and then i think maybe the old time photos might have been here so yeah sandy's right i think we're pretty sure this might have been where old time photos was that's now this, but I love how you can sit and just enjoy the train. We're definitely gonna be taking advantage of that. Oh, yeah. This whole deck area right now, also. Before you would walk right here and walk right up to where the entrance of the country fair is. Right. And now look at this, this building must have, this add-on, it must be a complete add-on to the building. Right, and just so you can see all the woods, definitely new, overlooking the whole country fair area if you're sitting up here. But I'm just loving the views of the train that you get. Someone is asking a question, but hold on. Let me see if Sandy's going to be able to relay that question to me. Okay, unfortunately, someone did ask a question or made a comment. And if you want to send that back real quick to us, just so that way we can try to answer it for you. But there's the Iron Horse Pizza. They're closed right now, but it's going to be opening soon this season. There's the line for the train. Now I could be wrong because I feel like the line for the train was always on this side of the train station. And these even look like, I don't know if they're new, but I mean, it could just be the way the sun's hitting off the stanchions and the chains. There's Sandy back there. Your general store area where you can get some cool train merchandise. The carousel up and running. In the Heart Song Theater. Okay, we have not been to the area yet where Wild Eagle is to know about if the photo booths are currently running, 
We are definitely going to get over there. Lightning and Raleigh said that's closed because we did walk over there, but we didn't walk around to the back of Lightning and Raleigh where those photos are taken at. So the next coaster we pass, we will take a look to see if the photo booths are in actual operation and we'll definitely get back to you on that. Heart Song Theater. It's so cool. If you haven't seen Santa's List, obviously it's not in season. And they haven't announced if Santa's List is returning for Smoky Mountain Christmas. Although it was on the trailer that they played at the media event today, so maybe it is. Oh, you're welcome, Dylan. Yeah, we love it here. You're coming April 24th. You're going to have a blast down here. Is it your first time ever coming? Or are you like us and you're seasoned Hollywood pros out here? I think even this whole thing is new down here in front of the bathrooms. This bathroom here is like one of my hidden secret places to go use the bathroom because it's always quiet down here. I know what you're thinking, Rock, you got a secret place to go to the bathroom? Well, it's just really quiet down there. Yeah, we love Dollywood too. and. Yeah, I can definitely understand that feeling coming every few years and seeing what's new and what Dollywood has to offer, especially if you come during the festivals. Like, we love the Flower and Food Festival and the Harvest Festival. Yeah, so definitely worth making the time every few years to come down. Sandy's got an update. No, did you see the flowers? Oh, we haven't been paying attention to the flowers, Sandy. You've got to see. Turn the camera around. Okay. Sandy says the people need to see the flowers out here at Dollywood. Aren't they gorgeous? So it's just the beginning. It's spring, almost. We're so close. Thank and you. Right in front of the carousel. And thinking, where should we go next? Thinking, where should we go next? Sandy hasn't told me yet. If we're gonna go hit the country fair area, show you guys around there. You know, a lot of people don't even know that area. They just pass it. And it's got some cool rides down there. It's got bumper cars down there. So do you wanna go check out the country fair area? All right, Sandy said, yep, we're going. So we're gonna follow her. Yeah? What's your question? Well, we're going to have to figure it out. We're going to have to take us on a little route. Remember at the very bottom of the country fair? Mm -hmm. I where the buffet area is. Right. And you used to be able to actually walk out over towards the rapids. I'm curious if you still have that there or not. We're going to find out. Hey, Let's go follow out. Sandy. Yeah. We're on a mission. And I, I love that you guys are sending in these comments. I'm trying to read them as fast as I can. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm babbling. Yeah. Oh, here comes another comment. Into the country fair area. Oh, yeah, we, you know, it was interesting about the Ferris wheel. So. Oh, yeah, we miss it too. Me and that was our first date for Sandy and I was on a Ferris wheel. Yep, at Santa Claus Land. So we love hitting Ferris wheels whenever we can. And I remember I forgot they had taken it out. And we were out here, what, a few years ago. And I'm like, Sandy, something's missing out here. I can't put my finger on it. And then we realized it was the Ferris wheel. I don't remember them having a balloon pop game. And Hippie Dwarf is in the park too today, it looks like. So maybe we'll be running in to each other while we're out here. I love that sign. Look how colorful the sign is. And that, this is exactly where the Ferris wheel really used to be. I didn't know the ride's actual name was called Pig Parade. I only just knew it as the pig ride. <laughs> I don't think you came that 
have much attention to it. And you see people are already, they're playing the games out here on opening day. I don't know about people watching, I get a kick out of opening day at theme park. That's why we love it so much. Yeah, the atmosphere. Yeah, let's talk about that gorgeous day because tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow they're calling for snow. Out here in Dollywood. And it's like six inches of snow. Yeah, and it feels like 65 degrees right now out here. And I'm still scratching my head. How's the temperature gonna change that fast? You guys don't want to hear about us. You guys want to see the park. Let's see the park. And look at that line for Grandstand Cafe. They got hot dogs, chicken tenders, oh and hot dogs. That's because I think the line might be there because this one, the Midway Market, hasn't opened yet. And that's a good spot they get butterfly pretzels. I know because I've gotten sandy butterfly pretzels from there before. As you see, it, it's a great day. Oh, look at that. It is called Piggy Parade. And I like how the bumper cars are called Demolition Derby. And we'll try to see if the bumper cars, they just stopped. So let's get the Piggy Parade and we'll come back to the bumper cars to see if they're running. I love how many different kids areas kids ride. I think this park has the most kids rides that I've been to in an amusement park. Yeah, they, they definitely have a lot of them. Piggy Parade. This is so cool. <laughs> I don't think that's the ride I'm allowed on. Lucky the Piggy Ducky? Parade. Oh, no, I, oh I, Lucky Ducky. You think I can get on Lucky Ducky? You gotta show All right, let me, let me show him. There's Lucky Ducky. Yeah, Sandy, something tells me I can't get on this ride either. Oh my gosh. Oh, I get the swings. Yeah, this is just a fun area. Just to walk around. And like Sandy said, I love the atmosphere and hearing the kids, you know, with that joy as they're on the rides and stuff like that. It's just a great time. And let me, ch we'll check out Demolition Derby real quick. They're still loading, so I'm not gonna hang out here. But just to give everybody an idea, I'm always fascinated on how popular bumper cars are and have always been. Whether it's a theme park, a carnival, like a street carnival, you have bumper cars, there is always a line. Have you noticed that? Now I'm looking around for Sandy because she kind of wandered off. Hold on. There she is over there. You know, uh, you know. Here, you want a trick? You're gonna see live to get Sandy's attention. Watch this. Sandy's shaking her head no. They all want to see it. How I get your attention when Sandy's away from me. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna, I am gonna show you how we get Sandy's attention. Oh, someone just passed. So I'll wave. Back to you. Okay. <laughs> 
And there's the bumper cars going, or the demolition derby. What's that? Get a close-up of the painting of the Walton. Okay. The, the pictures of Venice. It's so beautiful. I want to know the history. Does anybody have the history of this particular ride? Is it coming from Italy? Is that why there are pictures of Venice there? Let us know. Yeah, because I don't know. It's I beautiful. just thought it was a normal swing ride. I never paid attention to the artwork on it. But as you can see, it's a great day out here at Dollywood. Opening weekend, snow or no snow, we are going to be here tomorrow to bring you even more coverage of what Dollywood looks like when it's open to the public. And if it's snowing on the ground or snowing in the air, we're going to cover it. <laughs> um, we, we should be here Sunday morning also for church. So we'll be hopefully have some more extra coverage there. We've got a lot coming up. Downtown Flavortown. We've got... The Listening Room Cafe. Yeah, the Listening Room Cafe. Have you heard about that place? Well, Mount you're getting Isle. ready to because we're going to be bringing it to you. So a lot of reasons to stick around. We are going to be bringing you more of Dollywood. Dollywood is in huh? a parade at Dolly, 4 o'clock. at Dollywood. Dolly Parton is going to be in the DeWitt. She calls it the DeWitt, right? Is yeah, right? she does call it the DeWitt tour. Yes. They don't really Both call does. it a parade, but it's scheduled for 4 o'clock, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to find our best viewing area to capture that, and we're definitely going to be going live for that. And while we're in the live before it starts, we'll probably give you some other observations of different things we've noticed around the park today. And Sandy's getting ready to jump off the bridge. I think that's what she's telling me. So I better end this video here. And remember, I told you that there were three ways to get into the country fair. Oh yeah. That's the other way to get into the country fair or to exit. Oh, should we follow Sandy? I think I think we should say bye. All right, so we're gonna say bye here. Make each and every day an adventure that rocks, and keep tuned because we are going to be coming back on when they have that Dolly DeWitt tour slash parade around 4 o'clock. Hi! Uh, it's 5 o'clock now. Oh, what? It's 5 o'clock now. Okay, so do you know where it is? It'll start, I think, up here in the field. Okay. By the carousel? Yeah. Okay. I have to go that way. Yeah, they pushed it back.